I really like these masks, which my wife and our two young boys bought from a local artist about three weekends ago. I like them because they remind us that we all have masks. There are masks that stand between us and true knowledge. And true knowledge, I think, is not just knowing, but it's also being known. In fact, I haven't encountered a deeper desire in, in all of humanity than the desire to know and be known and be loved anyway. But knowing and being known is really difficult, especially being known. And why is that? Well, I think that, at least from my own experience and, and those of others I know, we, we so fear that we won't be loved that we put up masks so that we're not truly known. And those masks that we put up do indeed prevent us from being known as we truly are because we have things to hide, but they also keep us from being truly loved because someone might really love me with this mask on, but deep down I know they really just like the mask and they don't really know me. So how do we get rid of these masks? Socrates says that the unexamined life is not worth living. And so as I'm reading this text, as I'm reading Socrates engaging uh, with other people and exploring their souls, I also hold it up like a mirror. This text is like a mirror and I see, oh my goodness, I also have this mask. And then hopefully I can take down that mask. Unfortunately, once I set down that mask, I realize there might be another mask behind that one. And I might read Simone Weil. And in reading Simone Weil, I realize, oh my goodness, there's a, yet another mask that I can then remove. And I continue in this process and I do it with other folks and, and it's really why I read and teach philosophy. It's similar to the process that the most radical philosopher spoke of when he said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. What Jesus was saying there was that if you abide in my word, if you abide in me, like dwell in me, meditate in me, like live in me, that's what's going to expose you as the true being that you are. And that hurts. The truth often hurts. But what I found is that the truth, as painful as it is, sets us free. So I would invite you to join us in this sometimes painful, frequently funny, and almost always liberating process of knowing the truth, removing our masks, and being set free.